So hi guys, welcome to my video channel. So my name is Suela, I'm the owner and founder of Suela Wines and today I'm going to share with you some of the most critical and fun steps that you need to take for you to create or launch your own wine label. So um, in my experience or so years of experience having launched my business and running the business, I have been asked so many times how do you start a wine label so you can use this information anywhere else in the world it's not limited to south africa so i'm doing this today um enjoying one of my favorite bottles of wine from my collection and this is the grace which i had named after my mother considering that as women's i mean mother's day in a few days um this is what i'm indulging and if you are looking to try something new something different i do recommend that you go to the website www.sibelawines.co.za and do get yourself a bottle of this um so this is a premium red wine so it goes for 160 a bottle and it's just one of those wines that you really want to try so um let's get started with why we're here today so before i do that please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel subscribe press the subscribe button now so that you don't miss anything that i'm going to be sharing with you in the near future and also please do follow us on social media platform at siwela wines you can also check out our website www.siwelawines.co.za there are a lot of fantastic things happening there so the one misconception conception about being in the wine business is that people think that you need to own a vineyard to basically be in the business of wine or you need to own an actual physical um, winery for you to start you know being a, a, a business owner in the wine business but that's not true so with that being said let's start so where do you start you know if you're watching this video i'm assuming that you don't know where to start so where do you exactly start so i'm going to keep it short and simple and without going too much into detail about this so let's start so it starts about it starts with the fruit so where are you going to get your grapes because you need to get the grapes in order for you to make the wine so you have the options to own you know um um own your own vineyard buy on or, or buy your own vineyard so you can use the grapes from that vineyard to make your wine you can also lease a vineyard yes you can lease certain sections of the vineyard or certain rows of a specific vineyard to use specifically for your wine so you can have an exclusive wine that's produced from exclusive grapes or you can buy from different grape growers that you know sell and make and i mean grow and and sell grapes so that's the first step second thing you need to consider is that you need to consider the compliance legal compliance um before starting out so this can be like a very boring process and a very long process and a very costly process um but it needs to be done so in south africa there are rules and regulations that we need to abide to um especially particularly in the wine business and also the liquor business right so the first thing is a liquor license you need to get a liquor license um secondly you need to comply with sars um thirdly you need to register a company um fourthly you need to get a trademark for the um label that you're trying to create or that you are looking into creating so those are the four most important um legal compliances that you need to work on the third step is you need to figure out um, where you're going to make the wine so obviously you can't just make wine without the actual facility so there are things that are needed like your machinery the actual facility where the grapes are going to be processed um, and stuff like that so you need to establish how or where the, these wines are going to be made so the options in terms of like the facility some people use garages and we call them garages winemakers you can use um, your own or establish your own winery where you buy equipment and establish your own um, winery or you can use cooperatives um, cooperatives are like your um, <sighs> um, your shared facilities where different um, companies or different producers or different owners within the organization use that facility to 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 produce so it's like a shed it's a communal winery 
um, so those are the three types of you know facilities you can use to make your wine and the fourth step is that you need to decide who's going to make the wine so if you can make wine or you have the skills to make wine you can make your own wine um, if you have no knowledge of how to make wine you can basically uh, partner up or you can hire a winemaker to make wine for your facility or to make wine um, for your label um, um, yeah so those are the two options you you have in order to produce your wine um, and obviously if you're getting somebody who is going to be producing your wine you need to be well aware or well informed with regards to the type of styles that you want um, the type of tasting notes that you want you know the type of wine in general that you want to produce um, so that the wine can be produced under or with your own according to your own specifications um, and the fifth thing would be be that you need to consider where the wine is going to be stored so once the wine or before even that you have to consider supplies so supplies are things like your labels your bottles your corks where you're going to get all that you know besides the grape itself the other consumables that are needed for the actual wine to be fermented where are you going to get that but of course there are so many companies out there that um, sell supplies wine supplies it wouldn't be really difficult to get and the sixth one would be storage after the wine is produced it's important that it's stored and uh, um, good conditions because that can break or make your wine so it needs to be stored in accurate storage conditions so you need to consider are you going to um, rent a storage facility um, are you going to get your own storage facility and just make sure that the condi conditions are, are great for your wine to be stored uh, for a bit longer and the seventh thing that you need to consider is now that you have your product and you're ready to launch how are you going to distribute it into the market are you going to get um a hire a distributor or partner up with a distribution company or are you going to be an independent um, distributor and distribute your own products into the market um you also have to consider things like marketing um advertising how are you going to do all that and that's how you basically can start your own wine label anywhere else in the world um, but most importantly even though it is difficult and it has its own challenges it can be fun especially if you are passionate about it and you just love doing what you do so please do remember to subscribe to this channel and if you do get a chance to visit our website www.sibuelowines.co.za and please do follow us on all social media platforms at Sibuelo Wines. so thank you for your time and thank you for watching this video i wish you all the best cheers